So at one of our local game shops, a group came in with two teenagers that had paid to actually play in a game. And the dungeon master said, hey, this is not a family friendly game here. Um, I don't think you guys should play it. We'll give you a refund instead. And they were like, no, we, we saw the saw the material. We saw the content. I did the research. My girls are you know 14 and 16. It is absolutely fine. And the dungeon master said no. And so I had a couple of problems. I have a couple of questions. Should Dungeons and Dragons be a family friendly game? What happens when a dungeon master is not ready to do it? What happens when it's a paid game or public game? What happens when it's not advertised correctly? I think there's something we should talk about. Should Dungeons and Dragons be a family friendly game? Or the more appropriate question, when should it? Or how do we set those expectations? That's what we're going to talk about today. If I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons with a group of friends, that game can be whatever I want it to be. And if we set the expectations of the type of game and me as a dungeon master say, hey, this is the type of game we're playing. and We've been playing this game for months and now you bring your younger brother in. I as a dungeon master have the right to say, hey, I'm uncomfortable having someone of that age play in my game. You may not like it. The Internet may not like it. But the bottom line is it's still Part of the game. I set the expectations. I had something that we were going to be playing and you never once told me, hey, this is going to bring in and you didn't actually mention it. Now, what if you ask me, hey, can my younger brother play? If I don't know your younger brother, if I don't know them well enough and we have a game with sensitive material in it, I have the right to say no and you shouldn't be upset about that. You can be frustrated at the situation, but at me, I have rights to have fun as well. Remember, as a group of friends, we should be having these conversations, but at the same time, we don't want to make each other feel uncomfortable. You don't have a right to introduce a player without talking to me. And at the same time, I have a right to tell people that they shouldn't be playing. Here's a different scenario. You as a player also have a right to say, hey, Dungeon Master, your younger son who's now playing with us is making me uncomfortable. I have someone that young at the table. Me telling you I'm the Dungeon Master, it's fine. He's used his kind of content. Still doesn't make you any less uncomfortable. This goes with everyone at the table. If it's a group of friends, and the expectation is set early on, that's the expectation. We shouldn't have to be playing a family-friendly game if we don't want to be, especially if that's not how it sets up. Food for thought. Which means set expectations up front. If we are going to have a family-friendly game, or if I say, hey, is anyone opposed to having kids come in and play? And specifically from the ages of 10 to 12, because I've got a 12-year-old daughter that may want to play, and someone goes, yeah, I would, that would, I would count me out on that because I'd have to feel, I feel like I have to watch my tongue and that kind of stuff. Setting those expectations is something that we should do as a party, as a group at all points in time. So don't forget that when you're first playing a game, make sure that we set the expectations of what type of game it is and who's allowed to come. Remember, we think of the people that we have here now, we get a hard enough time building a group together, but what about when a son, a parent, a daughter, you know, a grandparent wants to play? Does that make someone else feel uncomfortable? Oh, but that's ages. It's this. No, 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 no. This is our game. This is a friendly game. This is not a public game. We're going to talk about public games next. This is our game. And we have a right to play the game with the people that we want to play with. And introducing a new person does need to be agreed on upon all the party, as well as setting expectations up front. Whether you like it or not, we all have a say in it. All of us, dungeon masters and players, both. Paid games clearly need to have age restrictions or requirements when advertised. In the scenario that I talked about in my intro, where the age restrictions weren't advertised. The dungeon master simply said no. The parent said, no, this is fine. In my terms, I almost stepped in and said, I'll DM the game for you guys. They were coming for a one shot, for a one session. It wasn't a campaign. The dungeon master and the three regulars who come in for one shots said no. I had a problem with that. I had a major problem with that because that wasn't set. And nowhere is it advertised that it's 16 plus on their website, in the game, it was prepaid, they made the plans, they scheduled it. Now you as a dungeon master need to figure out how to accommodate those people. If you're uncomfortable dungeon mastering that one shot, you need to pick a different one shot because that is where this is going. This is going to a more family friendly environment, especially if you are doing a paid game. And so that's something to consider is that you need to set those expectations before someone signs up. This is... 16 plus this is 18 plus there are some games that i played at that were 21 plus because they were at a bar so you couldn't play if you were you know a minor and so those are things that we have to consider when it's a paid environment as the proprietors as the dungeon masters we have to be willing to make exceptions especially if we failed to set the right expectations before they came in now this dungeon master wasn't equipped to do that but it wasn't more them it was more the other players they were with they didn't want to play with a bunch of kids 
That's what they said once the family left, which just broke my heart and disgusted me because it wasn't about the content. It was their demeanor towards someone that was simply younger than them. That's frustrating to me. It's different to be a dungeon master saying, hey, I'm not comfortable dungeon mastering for a bunch of 12-year-olds. You know, I don't DM at the library because I am not good at whimsical, fun, kid-style games. The DMs at the libraries who my daughter rolls with are awesome. They have some of the coolest games that I never would have thought of. And I love the fact that they have that. I love the fact that there's someone there to do that. As a proprietor, as someone that's a dungeon master or a paid DM, you have to be aware of making sure that those expectations are set before the moment someone actually purchases your product. So keep that in mind. Finally, when we're talking about if Dungeons & Dragons should be a family game, try different game styles. I am a gritty DM. I play rich, hard, dark fantasy games. But I also have kids, and so I'm starting to introduce myself into much more whimsical games. And they're not my type. Goblins that are stealing from Santa's train. That was one. That went over stupendously well. And I'm still wondering how I pulled that off. Because I didn't do it. And learn from somebody else. That's the thing, is that if you're trying to play games and you want to play something that's a different style, that's more family oriented, you have kids now, your friends have kids, you want to introduce them into the game. My brother and I both have young teenage girls who play dark fantasy, but they also like things to be much more whimsical. So we ask them what type of game they would like to play. When they say they don't know, because like most kids, they'll not have a clue, or they'll have, I want to play a game that's like this, 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 and this. Try it. It will expand your ability as a dungeon master to play in more types of games. So food for thought. As always, guys, these are just some basic dungeon mastering tips when it comes to being a family-oriented game. Setting the appropriate expectation is really what this comes down to. Whether it's paid or whether it's with friends, making sure that everyone at the table is comfortable. If you introduce someone that's both way too young and you have sensitive topics at the table, that's, the, that's a problem. If you have eliminated all sensitive topics, but someone has a problem playing with kids because they feel like they have to censor themselves, then you as a dungeon master and you as other players need to be aware of that. Now, if that's the thing set up that, hey, just so you know, your kids are welcome to my table, and then someone's like, whoa, no kids. Well, that's on them. So just keep that in mind. And as always, this is just a set of kind of ideas. This is not cold hearted or this is not saying that anyone's right or anyone's wrong. My question is this. Do you think that every game should be family friendly? I don't. I think the expectation should be consistent. That's the only part of this that I think should carry through all of our lessons. So what are your thoughts on this? And as always, like, comment, subscribe, tell us, and we will see you next time.